Years ago when you were, you know, fighting for a scholarship offer out of high school and ended up at Grambling in junior college, would you have ever envisioned being here as, as one of the guys in the spotlight of the biggest football conference in the country in, in this opportunity? Growing up you dream of it. Uh, you know, you, 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 you think uh, you know you want to go to the to the best school. Um, but unfortunately for me that didn't happen. Um, I mean you have to get into Grambling State. I, I couldn't imagine couldn't have imagined all of this. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really surreal and, and divine how it all came about. Um, I'm just excited uh, for this journey that I'm on right now. So. When did it come about? When did it kind of click for you that all of a sudden you could become good enough to be an SEC quarterback? Um, really just uh, maybe the, the seventh or eighth game to junior college. Um, I mean, things really started to pick up for me. Um, the season was going really well. Uh, getting a few calls from, from, from some coaches. And then that's when I started to uh, know for sure that this, this could happen. And what about the opportunity that you got early last season? Drew goes down, it's your show, and you make the most of it. Did you feel, were there nerves? Talk about you and your confidence level taking that. Oh, yeah, there were, there were nerves all the time um, doing that and going into, going into those, those first few games. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy with, well, I'm glad that I have the support of my team uh, behind me going through that. The, the transition wasn't too hard for me. Um, or as hard as it should have been um, for other guys, maybe. Um, I'm really glad that I got my team to, to have my back for me. Do you feel like this is your offense now, after that experience last year and, and the kind of leadership role you've taken on? Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited with how we're doing um, offensively um, this past spring and really going into summer. Um, I'm excited for camp. Uh, we've really got some other guys stepping up in the leadership roles and uh, on the offensive side as well. Uh, so we're all really trying to pick it up and uh, be the best we can be. Um, this next year. What do you guys have to do to take the next step up in the NCC? Um, I think our, our thing is just being more consistent. Um, that starts with me personally, um, not turning the ball over, um, being able to, to extend drives uh, and finish with the ball in the, uh, either the three points or the six points. Um, I know, uh, like I said, personally, I had too many turnovers, um, so that's one thing for sure. Um, but just consistency, I think, on, on the offensive side is, is our main thing. What's it like having a, a Snell on your team that, you know, I was up there for the Georgia game and a lot of direct snaps to Benny in that game. What's it like kind of having a, a, a running back that can play a lot of quarterback? Uh, I mean, it's, it's great, you know. Um, if, if it helps our team, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, you, you, you see Benny get the ball and you kind of just stand there and watch him run over four or five people and get 10 yards a pop. Um, so, I mean, it's great to have a guy like him on our team for sure. Any of those young guys you've been throwing with this summer stand out already? Um, all of them. All of them. I mean, we had practice this morning, and they all made tremendous catches um, out there. So I mean, I'm I'm really glad with the things that they're doing. Um, they're really eager to learn, um, excited to be a part of the program and where, where we're where we're going from here. Stephen, after after the win over Louisville and going to a bowl, do you, is the vibe a lot different this summer than it was when you first came into the program last year? Definitely. Um, I think our confidence um, coming in to this summer or going through this summer is a lot higher than it was last summer. Uh, our, we know now that we can win big games in tough situations uh, and not just die down the fourth quarter. Uh, like I said, I'm really excited for what we have this year. Do you sense that you, this program has a little more respect just walking through here this week? I mean, people are talking about Kentucky in a little bit of a different way. A bunch of your guys are on watch lists and things like that. And being described as a sleeper to, in the East, I mean, do, you, do you feel a different level of respect for Kentucky now? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I mean, just uh, we, we try not to focus too much on the past going into, into the future with our first game against Southern Miss, but we, we, we do feel a sense of, a, a sense of more respect um, coming into places like this, um, being, being around, just being through the SEC. Um, I, we, we definitely feel that, for sure. Do you what do you think you did last year that most earned that going into this year? What do you think you did that caught people's attention that maybe Kentucky is a different Kentucky? Um, well, winning tough games, for sure. Uh, I know we, we, we won a tough one against Mississippi State and obviously against Louisville. Um, but those two games in particular, I think, really caught people's eye of letting them know that, you know, we, we Kentucky is, is a contending team. You know, we, we can do some things and we plan to do some things this year. Stephen, almost every coach uh, talks about the next game, you got to look down, down the field and escape it. Uh, but is, is there anything wrong? Do you see anything wrong with the coach saying, hey, we got to be Florida. This is the most dubious thing in college football right now. So, uh, in order to, to make that next step, do you see anything wrong with the coach saying that? Even though you got the game to play? 
Does that have I do. I, I do. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with the coach 100% on that, of, of taking it one game at a time. Uh, I mean, growing up, I had a coach that was that way, mm -hmm. um, that would look too far ahead, uh, ahead in the season, and we would not be too be focused on the games we had ahead of us, and the games we had right in front of us, I guess. So, going into it, um, I, I'm really, really like, poor going with the, just going with one game at a time. Y'all going to the Georgia State game overcome that? Possibly, possibly. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, being, being rules and probably got a, a little bit to do with it in that month of time off um, as well. Uh, but now we know we can't take any time off, we can't slack anymore. Uh, we have to really, really be focused on it. Steven, how important was that win over South Carolina last year and getting over, getting past the Gamecocks in the SEC East? How big a deal has that been for Kentucky's program? Uh, it, it, it meant a lot to us. Um, like I said, we, we went into a lot of games um, with a different mentality um, of, of trying to play the whole four quarters. So being a team like South Carolina, uh, being in the home, really, really boosted our confidence uh, as a team and then really helped our fans out as well.